um, Heidi Sissel. Could you come up? <laughs> Heidi has been part of OPUSD for 22 years and has been in education for 26. It is not possible to overstate Heidi's impact on this high school. Currently, she teaches choir and is our ASB advisor. Uh, she texted me about six o'clock this morning where we figured out that she's been the ASB uh, leader for 15 years. Um, in that role, that means every dance, every rally, every prom, most student events, they all have gone through Heidi for a decade and a half. Her impact on the, on the lives of Oak Park students is immense. As choir director, she started with 14 students and has grown the program to more than 80 students. There's an old question, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? Well, the answer is you join Heidi's choir program. <laughs> Over the years, OPHS students have performed at Disneyland, Walt Disney Hall, the Hollywood Bowl, and Carnegie Hall. On a personal note, in a very short time, I've come to know Heidi and rely on her thoroughness, her professionalism, and her immense care for her students. Heidi will be missed. I'd like to invite Zach Borges to say a few words about Heidi. to stop writing bullet points because my list is kind of getting long here. Um, I, uh, I started in Oak Park in the back half of Heidi's 22 years. I was finishing up my ninth year. Um, and I can you know, think back to the very first time I met Heidi is her and Matt Fenders, who was running the jazz club. He was the trombonist for the Tonight Show band. And I was doing a long-term sub assignment at Medea Creek. And after a class period, the two of them popped in and I met them. And then a couple of weeks later, or maybe later that week, I got a call from Kevin Buchanan, the principal at the time, who was interested in talking to me about a potential position here. Um, at the time in 2013, Heidi, I'm sure, somewhat reluctantly had agreed to run the one band class that was existing at that time, a tiny little band class. But um, because she did that, um, it it led to the opportunity for, for me to have a job. So, I mean, from the outset, I, I, I'm eternally grateful for that. Um, you know, uh, it, it's, it's, come, it's, it's been a long ride since then, and I, I feel like I've had a front row uh, seat to everything she does for this campus, um, not just on the ASB side of things, given that she, we share the, the same building, but also, of course, on the, uh, on the music side of things. Um, we are teachers who do a lot of stuff outside of the school day, and, and there's not many of us who kind of go through that same experience. So I've always felt um, so appreciative to be able to go through that with you and share that um, along with you and have a level of understanding there. Um, it's crazy to think that our first, my first concert was shared graciously with the choir concert that year. Um, and um, so some other memories that I have, I'm, I'm just gonna look down at my notes. Um, um, when it came, you know, I, I said I had a front row seat to, to everything Heidi does. If, if you've never seen her work on an event day, whether it be a rally or a dance or a concert day, um, I, I will say she's got limitless energy. I mean, it still does. I, I mean, you just watch her work and she's just running a circle around me. And, and at the time, I was in my late 20s, I'm like exhausted and she's just going, going, going. And I'm like, wow, that is a, that is amazing. And, um, you know, in just in general, she's got an env enviable and unparalleled work ethic um, coupled with the seemingly limitless energy. Um, super, super organized, an insanely good musician, um, of course, as a vocalist and a piano player. Um, you know, and as a colleague, I, I just so appreciated, you know, I, I, I and, and especially nine years in, I have a perspective of what it must have been like for you midway through to bring in this new kid, brand new teacher, and bring him into the fold with all of his ideas and everything, but you, you, did that so well, and, and I'm so appreciative of that. Um, it, it, 
you know, we, you know, even though, you know, from time to time, you know, living in a tight space together, we would have some, you know, disagreements on things, but we would always come to a conclusion and, and always have such a mutual respect for each other as musicians and educators. And, and again, I really appreciate that. Um, and, and um, you know, hopefully some of you have had the opportunity to get to, to her concerts. Um, just phenomenal performances, just outstanding um, work with these students to, to make the most beautiful music. Um, the, the last Thursday was, was Heidi's final concert here on campus and um, it was just beautiful. It was just beautiful and so many alumni came out um, which is, you know, definitely a testament to the impact you've made on your students um, over the 22 years that you've been here. Uh, one of the administrators described it as very Mr. Holland's position. Um, and, and, and I agree to a certain extent, but except in this case, it's Miss Sissel's choir, or Miss Sissel's <laughs> chorus is how I would term it. They made a movie directed by Alan Hunt. So. Um, but, uh, you know, just some of the things that I think I'll remember and cherish most is, is every opportunity I, that we had to work directly with one another. And that largely came through the school musicals and the plays. Um, it's always a crazy, tiring time of year, but always one of the most enjoyable and fun times of year. Um, and, and I will say one of the best memories of that would be the first play I, I, I participated on as a new teacher, which was Anita. And it was the one time that you played piano along with the pit orchestra. And it was such an honor um, to, to be able to do that with you and, and everything. So I want to thank you. And um, uh, you all, you know, we have a huge void here next year with all the uh, stuff that you don't get to see.